be making basics. What's going on YouTube beat making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be going over how to sample in Logic Pro 10. This is the 2023 edition. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, first things first, when it comes to sampling in Logic Pro 10, you're going to want to use what's called the quick sampler. All right. Now how you access the quick sampler, if you're brand new, you're just going to want to go ahead and create a software instrument track. So click over here and then under instrument, you're going to scroll down till you see quick sampler, go to stereo, push create. All right. So this is the quick sampler. It's pretty dope. Um, pretty much you can drag and drop any type of files like right here, any audio files from anywhere on your computer. Um, it's pretty dope. And then they have these different options as far as like how to manipulate and play the samples. So classic mode um, is pretty dope. You can pretty much chop it up here and just play the sample. Uh, one set, one shot. Um, if you just push play on the sample anywhere where you cut it up, it's going to play the whole sample all the way through. Slice pretty much. You can chop up your samples and recorder. This is actually what you can do to record uh, samples on here. So let's go ahead and drag and drop some samples in. Um, you can use whatever we have, you know, Apple loops you could use. We have splice. We have, you know, different things like that. So what I'll do here is I'm actually going to um, come over here and we'll find something in the Apple loops and we're going to pull up something and see what we could do to uh, chop it up and show you how to sample in Logic Pro 10. So let's just see what we can find here. All right, so that's a pretty cool little melody. I'm just gonna take it and just literally drag and drop it over here. Now, as you can see, there's two different options. You can put it in original. It's gonna use the original tuning, loudness, looping, and length, or you can do optimize, which is gonna optimize the tuning, loudness, and search for loop points and crop silence. So technically, I would say, like if you're gonna be using, like say, just a melody, go ahead and throw it in this original. And if you wanna use like a drum beat, Throw it in this optimized because it will make it easier to chop up the drum beat. We're going to throw it in original. And as you can see here, we have the sample. All right. So I can come and do a couple of different things. If you look right here at the bottom, you have this playback. We can um, play back uh, the sample forward or reverse it. OK, this loop basically means is that if you have this on, it's going to play the sample all the way through and then keep it looping it wherever you have the loop points. I usually go ahead and turn this loop off. All right. And then you can either push forward or, uh, or reverse right here to reverse the sample. Now, this is a great option that you're going to need to pay attention to. It's called follow tempo. If you had that selected, whatever your BPM is, it should match up your sample towards that BPM. I'm going to go ahead and push the metronome on. We'll put on musical typing. I'm going to play this sample and you'll see how it's like, um, synced up. So as you can see, it synced, it synced the sample with this uh, follow tempo on. Another cool thing you could do, and again, I reverse that, is you can come over here to the speed and speed this up. So that can help with manipulating the sample compared to where it sounds more regular. You can also slow it down. So those are some options there when it comes to sample manipulation. Obviously you have some stuff you can do here with the LFOs, pitch, filters, and amp. Those are some other cool things you could do. Now let's talk about actually chopping this up. Now in classic mode, there's some simple things you could do. Just take these points and find exactly where you want to chop up your sample. So say if you want to come right over here. Now, <clears throat> anytime we push play on any of these buttons, it's just going to only push this one or play this. Move it around. And the cool thing here is if you look at the top, these are actually fade um, options here. So that can help make your sample sound a little smoother. All 
All right, cool. So that's how um, we can use this classic mode. Now, if you want to use the one shot mode again, like I said, it's pretty much um, going to play the whole sample through. So wherever you have these sample points or these loop points, that's where it's going to play from here all the way there with, without me like, holding it down. I kind of typically try to use that one shot for like drums, but that's pretty much what we got going here. Now let's go to slice. If you look at this, it has these different points and each point, if you look down here, coordinates to a note on the piano. So this is C1. So like what I could do is come all the way down here and it's just going to go coordinate with these different chops. Now, obviously that's pretty dope, but what if you want to chop it up a different way? You can do it with this mode here. We can do transients, beat divisions, equal to divisions, and you can do it manually. If you do beat divisions, it's gonna like really fine tune it. You go to equal to divisions, it will split it up a little bit less fine tuned. This could be very valuable when it comes to like, you know, say chopping up a, uh, you know, solo sample or something like that. What I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to go in here and we're going to recall the default and I'm going to go to splice real quick. All right. And they have some like soul stuff. So I'm going to type soul here and we're going to bring in some uh, soul samples. So I go to type, I go to loops and then, um, we're gonna probably want to go ahead and go with like a melody if I can find that in here. Melody, okay, bet. So now let's see what we can find to chop up and you know demonstrate here. So that's cool. That has like a good like soulful hip hop vibe. So we'll throw that in here, in original. And like I said, this is a sample here. So let's go back to spli uh, slice mode. And I'm actually going to go from transient to manual. And what that's just going to do is take all those points out. And if you look right here, you can see that plus sign and that little line. That's where I can make my points. So if I wanted to, I can come here and I can look at the wave file and right where it starts to kind of up. I can, dent, I can move, put, put the point there. You can move the point around like this. Let's click the top of it. All right, and again, as you can see here, we have different notes, C1, C sharp, D1, go, keeps on going up. Now, another cool thing you can do here is you can start it at different keys. So say if I didn't want to start it at C1, I could start it somewhere else, or you can come over here to chromatic um, and choose between just the white keys or just the black keys. Chromatic is the black and white keys. So, so if I want it just on the white keys, it's gonna start C, D, and go on from there. So like for, for y'all who like maybe have a drum pad or some type of thing like that and y'all like to do finger uh, drumming and stuff like that, this is going to be a good option to do that. Um, you can also do some finger stuff with the actual piano. Okay, now a couple other things. You can actually come over here and select gate and that's going to basically make it to where it's not going to play all the way through so choppy. So like you have to hold it all the way down to do it. So. Vice versa, you can take it off that gate, play it all the way to the end, and of course, it's going to play it to the next point. Okay, so it's pretty much how you can sample here. Now, again, you can also use some of these to affect the sample. Go over here to filter.
Cool. So now let's talk about how you can, you know, manipulate drum samples. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to default here. Just kind of brings everything back to nominal gain. And I'm just gonna actually come over here to the quick sampler. And then we're gonna go over here to Apple Loops, all right? And after we go to Apple Loops, we're gonna come over here. You can actually select um, instrument and then you're gonna scroll over here to where you can enter in information and put beat, just type that in. So let's use that. Now again, because we're using drums, it would probably be better if we go ahead and put it in the optimize because it's gonna optimize tuning and loudness as well as search for loop points and crop silence. So that'll be good for like chopping up drums. Now again, classic mode, that's cool. If you wanna just use that actual beat. All right, we're gonna put that up here. But more than likely, you're gonna wanna slice this And especially when it comes to the drums, this like, you know, chops it up perfectly, okay? You can also come over here and use some of these like filters and stuff, make the drum sound dirty. All right, y'all, so that's gonna be the video for today. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure that you go ahead and head over to our site, beatmakingbasics.com. If you love our videos here on YouTube, you're gonna love the courses that we offer. They come with a whole video curriculum and um, you know, really gonna help take your beats to the next level. We got courses on how to make beats in Logic Pro 10, how to mix, how to make melodies, drum patterns, and a whole lot of other courses that are really, really help you improve, especially if like you're a beginner or an intermediate level producer, It'll help you know really hone those skills and then make you a better producer. We also have um, sample packs that are really free, drum kits, um, templates, and you can do a one-on-one -on -one service with me if you wanna meet me. Um, talk and ask questions and stuff like that. You could book an hour of time with me. Um, but anyway, appreciate y'all watching and I will see you in the next video. We're out.